Metallica fans are used to waiting a long time for new music from the band, but things are changing and Metallica's been quite active as of late. Seems like they found the right balance in between shows, and they're not as worn out as they used to be. But nonetheless, Metallica fans did wait a whopping eight years after Death Magnetic in 2008 for the eventual follow-up to be released, none other than 2016's Hardwired to Self-Destruct. Now, fans are wondering when they're going to get new music from Metallica, given the fact that Hardwired was met with general positive reviews from both critics and fans. Metallica, of course, is still on cycle, touring around the world on their massive worldwide tour, but that doesn't stop Metallica guitarist Kirk Hammett from giving a new interview revealing just where Metallica is as it pertains to new music. Now, Metallica's worldwide tour is scheduled to last until this November. Afterwards, Metallica is officially sticking a fork in this album cycle, which means plans tentatively are to go home, rest and relax, and then after that, they're on a clean slate. And this is what Kirk Hammett had to say about where they go from here. Hammett said, when I was 13 or 14 years old, bands put out albums every year. Seriously, Kiss put out an album every eight months. None of this eight years between albums. None of us are very comfortable with the fact that it's been so long because that is a long time. We're hoping to avoid that this time around. We're in our third year since Hardwired. Maybe we can get a bit more focused and go into the studio a bit sooner. I have a ton of material. I've overcompensated, so I'm ready to go any time. Now that is big news from Kirk Hammett. It sounds like these guys are in the right mindset and they're gonna get in the studio and work on this record if everybody's on the same page. Now Metallica's bassist Robert himself seems to agree with that sentiment. He recently said in an interview that the new music is likely to arrive a lot sooner than the previous albums did. He added, this time around, I think we'll be able to jump on it a lot quicker and jump in the studio and start working. We've all vowed to get this one going a lot sooner than later. Now, how soon? I don't know. We've been touring nonstop. It's been over two years now. At some point, sure, we'll need to take a little bit of a break. It's sort of the right thing for us to do because we've been going so hard. Now, James Hetfield said in a French interview that Kirk Hammett wasn't even involved in the songwriting process because, quote, the riffs weren't there. He said, I know he talks about him losing his phone and things like that with the riffs, but no, he wasn't involved in the process, and Robert was there. The intro to Man Unkind is Robert. That is him, and it's beautiful, but it is Lars and I doing what we always do, put the songs together. Of course, Hammett said that it was devastating for him back in 2014 when he lost his phone, which contained hundreds of different songs ideas that they were going to be using on this album. He said he had to start at zero again, and he added, by the time I got a few ideas flowing around and formed, most of the songs were already written. He said it was a very bitter pill to swallow. So this time around, again, Kirk Hammond is overcompensated and is ready to go in the studio. And hopefully all of the other dudes in Metallica feel the same later this year after they get a little bit of a break from that World Wired tour. But this is exciting nonetheless. No more waiting around for Metallica. It does seem like these guys are all sincere and ready to carry on. Or are they? We haven't heard from Lars. We haven't heard from James. We'll just have to wait and see. That is all for now. Thanks for joining us here at Rock Feed today. If you're new here, you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking hard rock and heavy metal news. You can also check out these recommended videos. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.